going to show you a keyboard replacement here on a Dell Inspiron 1521. Now the original keyboard has already been taken out, but I'll show you by putting the new keyboard in exactly how you get the original one out in the first place. Now I'm attaching it with a ribbon cable here, making sure that it's insecure, snapped in tight, and it's straight. And once that's snapped in, make sure it's secure. Now we're not going to be able to get the keyboard in until we take the hinge cover plate off, which we should have done first, but it's okay. The keyboard can just sit there connected while we get this plate off. Dells are easy. If you look right here, you're going to see a little slot there, and that the purpose of that little slot is so you can put something in there and pry up the hinge cover plate. I usually use a flathead screwdriver. It'd probably be smart to use something that's not going to scratch the plastic. But most Dells have that slot there so you're able to pull up that hinge cover plate rather easily from the right hand side. I'll show you how we do it right here. Just pry it up. It comes loose. You could also get a screwdriver under the actual hinge there. Pull it up. On Dells, most of the time they come off easily and they're not screwed in on the bottom, but it's it's wise to check. And there's two screws that hold the keyboard in. The keyboard slides in underneath where the touchpad is. You push it down, slide it in, and then make sure the screw holes are flush, lined up. Make sure if there's any clips on the sides, they're clipped in and put the two screws back to hold it in place. Just trying to make sure everything's flush the way it was when we took everything apart. It looks okay. That's the LCD cable in there. Sometimes it likes to pop out from where it's originally from and then the hinge cover plate doesn't sit exactly level like it did. Okay, make sure the screws are tight. Take that hinge cover plate, snap it back in, starting with the left hand side on Dells and moving your way over to the right. Now this is looking okay, everything looks straight. Keyboard looks like it's okay. And that's how you do a keyboard replacement on Dell.